This is Math Fundamentals for um, Thursday, April 2nd. Um, we are going to continue uh, with Lesson 12.4. You'll find that on page 348 of your textbook. So we've been talking about um, adding and subtracting integers. So we talked about if I add if I add two positive numbers, then I just add the numbers, and they're both positive, so they keep the positive sign. Okay? You're very used to that. And then we talked about if I um, add two negative numbers, then I, and they have the same sign, so I add them together, and I keep the sign, negative 4. Okay? Then, um, yesterday we talked about adding positive and negative numbers. So, negative 7 um, plus 3. We talked about using that positive sign and looking at them and combining them. So, you have um, 7 is bigger than 3, so we subtract because their signs are different. Um, 7 minus 3 is 4, and it keeps the sign of the bigger number, negative 4. Okay, um, we had one that might look like this, 4 plus negative 1. In this case, we're combining these two numbers. It's positive. <clears throat> so we would say 4 minus 1 is 3, and we would keep the sign of the bigger number, so it would be positive 3. So there's a quick review of how we are combining or adding positive and negative numbers. And if you'll notice, this is all addition. Okay, so today we're actually going to start with subtracting integers. And subtracting um, throws us a little curveball, but I have a little trick to make it go a little bit easier for you. So let's look at some of our examples on page 349. They give us example A of negative 7 minus 4. Okay, so it's the same thing as the adding at this point. We want to say I'm actually combining a negative 7, and then instead of saying minus 4, we just are saying we're going to combine it with a negative 4. Okay. And when I do that, I say, okay, well, same rules apply. I have two of the same signs, so I'm actually going to add them together, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm going to get 11, and then I'm going to keep the sign because they had the same signs. Okay. Um, let's look at this next one. Negative 9 minus negative 13. Okay, so here is where something very interesting happens, and I want to teach you a little trick. We're going to move a little bit ahead in algebra to make this a little bit easier for your mind. If we had a 3 and we had it next to a 6, we would consider this multiplication, correct? If there um, is not a sign telling you what to do, it's multiplication. So what I want you to see is that I have this sign right next to this number. And so what I can say is that this subtraction sign is multiplied to this negative sign. Now, stay with me for just a second, okay? We will learn later, and it's something I want you to learn now, that when I multiply two negatives, I get a positive. Two negatives make a positive. Say that with me. Two negatives make a positive. So when my negative signs are right next to each other like that, I'm going to circle them and I'm going to change it to a positive. So let me rewrite this problem. Negative 9 minus negative 13. Uh, when I see two negative signs right next to each other with nothing in the middle, I'm going to circle them and change it to a positive. Now I can rewrite this problem, negative 9 plus 13. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Okay, um, and then I'm going to circle the two numbers that I'm going to be combining. They have different signs, so I'm going to subtract 13 minus 9 equals 4. And then I keep the sign of the bigger number. Okay, so positive 4 is my answer. Okay, so this is the 
only case that we need to change a sign. Um, it's very interesting because if you if you started at negative nine, and this actually means going the opposite direction of negative thirteen. So instead of going this way thirteen, we'd actually go positive because we're going the opposite direction of a negative. And that's really kind of hard for us to wrap our minds around. If you can do that on a number line, do that. Um, but if you see the two negatives together, two negatives make a positive, and I think it'll make your math um, work a little bit easier. And in the future, it'll make it a little bit easier for you as well. So 4 minus 16. Okay, so in this case, we're um, subtracting, but I can just put a positive because I know that 4 is positive. And I can combine the two numbers. I'm combining a positive 4 and a negative 16. So my signs are different. So I'm going to subtract. I'm going to say 16 minus 4 is 12. And then I'm going to keep the sign of the bigger number. There you go, negative 12. Okay, and then my last example is 11 minus negative 3. So I hope you already picked up that these two negatives are right next to each other, so I can change it to a positive. In this case, I have 11 plus 3, which equals 14. Okay, so give these a try. The Really, the big thing that's different today is seeing those two negatives and making them a positive. Otherwise, just circle them and combine them and see how that goes for you. Um, let's do, in your exercises, um, I don't want you to do one and two. I feel like those are kind of confusing, filling in uh, those boxes. I do want you to start at number three. And let's go through number 24. Look at number 19. I'm going to do that one with you really quick before I let you go. Um, it says 4 minus 7 plus negative 2. Okay, so we want to do what's in parentheses first. We want to do 4 minus 7. So I'm going to put my little positive 4 and I'm going to circle it. And circle it. So 7 minus 4 is 3 and I'm going to keep the sign of the bigger number. So negative 3 and then I'm going to bring the rest of this down plus negative 2. So I can combine these two numbers negative 3 um, and negative 2 since they have the same sign I'm going to add them 3 plus 2 is 5 and I keep the sign. So my answer is negative 5.